Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be dealing with this this simple question here. Yeah, so this is a very simple question and um, I'm not going to take a lot of time solving it. It's just a very simple, simple question. Alright, so let's quickly begin. So the question says evaluate each expression. So when they say evaluate, they're asking you to find the actual answer meaning the answer may may even be a figure just a number as the final answer all right so the first question that we have there is um we have log 2 base 4 then we have plus um log 32 base 4 so now how do we simplify this or how do we find the solution for this question so this is a very simple question we have this first logarithm there. Is there a way in which we can reduce this? If, if you can't see anything that uh, can be reduced on the first term there, you can come to the second term. Can we reduce the second term to, the, to look at least as the first term? Yes. So how do we do that? So this is simple. All right. So we know to say log... We know to say log 32, or rather this 32 here can be written in terms of 2. Yeah, so we know that 32 is just the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So how many 2s? We have 5. So 2 to the power 5 gives us what? 32. So we can say log 2 base 4 plus then we have log instead of writing 32 i'm going to write 2 to the power 5 so we have 2 to the power 5 and then base 4 yeah so what we can do now is this 5 yeah so this 5 can drop down this side so if this 5 is dropped um, to this uh, if this 5 drops down we're going to have log 2 base 4 plus 5 log 2 base 4 so now we have like terms we can easily add these so adding these is going to give us what so this is going to give us um, uh, 6 so this log 2 base 4 plus 5 log 2 base 4 this is going to give us 6 log 2 base 4 so um, so the other thing that we can do here to simplify it further is we can take back the 6 there so when you take back the 6 there are two methods here that we can use I'll write both of them and then you choose which one is easier for you so when you take this 6 to the top there you are going to have um, log um, 2 to the power 6 base 4 so 2 to the power 6 gives you what 64 yeah so 2 to the power 6 gives you 64 so this can also be written as log 64 base 4 now is there a way in which we can uh, simplify this further let's see yeah so let's see let's try to simplify it so what if we try to write 64 in terms of 4? 4 times 4 gives you what? 16. 16 times 4 gives you 64. So this can also be written as log 4 to the power 1, 2, 3. So this can be written as 4 to the power 3. So log 4 to the power 3 base 4. So this 3 would drop down this side so that we have 3 log 4 base 4. And then according to the rules of logarithms, we know to say the log of a base a, if the number that is here and the base are the same, the answer is simply just 1. So this part here gives us what? 1. So this is just the same as writing 3 times 1, which gives you 3 let's also try another method so um, we ended here
so we ended there so now we have six log then we have two base four so we can convert this logarithm we can convert this logarithm to base 10 so how do you convert that so we're going to say we have six that is the six there then we say log 2 base 10 over log 4 base 10 so I'm not going to write the 10 there so this 4 can also be written in terms of 2 so how do we write that so uh, we have the 6 there then on top we have log 2 then over the denominator there can be written so this was method one then we're on method two so this four can be written in terms of two meaning we're going to have log um, two to the power two so two to the power two gives you what four so this two can drop down this side so that we have six on top we have log 2 and then the denominator is 2 log 2 so log 2 and log 2 cancel mm -hmm. so just remain with 6 over 2 which gives you what 3 so you can see that we've gotten the same answer so depending on which method is easier for you or which method you think is going to be easier for you to use you can pick any of them you'll still be marked correct because you are applying the rules of indices and logs in the right way yeah all right so thank you very much let's um move on to the next question okay so the next question is uh, we have log, this is question 2, log 80 base 2 minus log 5 base 2. So here we can also find means by which we can simplify this question. Yeah, so we can simplify this question. So 80 can also be written um, okay so this is question 2 I thought this is 2 log something okay this is question 2 so we can also find means by which we can simplify this okay so before I proceed to the next question I think let me also show you the simplest way of solving this one again the first question so since you have log 2 and uh, log 2 base 4 and log 32 base 4 since you since the logarithms are having the same bases the simplest way you can solve this is also by considering the sign that is in between there so we have a positive which is a plus so when you're adding two logarithms when you're adding log a base b and log uh, and log c as long as the bases are the same so when you're adding two logarithms of the same base you can simply just multiply the functions so here is just the same as log a times c base b that is the solution so this is also um, applicable in the first question there so let's see how we can use this to solve the first question and this is the shortest method okay so we have log 2 base 4 so the bases are the same we have log 32 base 4 so in here since we are adding it means that we're going to multiply the functions so the functions we have is uh, i mean the function we have on the first one is 2 and then the function we have on the second one is 32 so 2 times 32 we're getting what we're getting 64 so we have log 64 base 4 which can also be further simplified to um, log 4 to the power 3 base 4 4 to the power 3 gives you what 64 so this 3 can drop down there 
so that you have 3 log 4 base 4. Remember, if you have a logarithm that has the same base as the function there, the answer gives you as 1. So this can also be just be written as 3 times 1, which can further be simplified to 3. So that is the simplest way you can solve that. The same method is what we are going to apply on the second question. So let's see how we can solve the second question. So the second question is um, log 80 base 2 minus log 5 base 2. So when we are subtracting here, it means that we are going to divide. Yeah, so when there is addition in between the logarithms, it means that you, mu you are multiplying the functions. So in this case, since there is subtraction, we're going to divide the functions. So what happens if we divide uh, the functions? Let's see. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, so um, we have log 80 over 5. We're dividing this by that. And make sure that you maintain the base. So the base is 2. So when we divide there, we're going to have um, 80 divided by 5 gives us what? 16, base 2. So you can simply uh, simplify this. And this is going to be log. 16 can be written in terms of 2 as 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. So this is just the same as 2 to the power 4, and then base 2. So this 4 can drop down there. So that you have 4 log 2 base 2. Now since the function is the same as the base there, it means that this part is equal to 1. So you have 4 times 1, which gives you 4. So that is the easiest way to simplify these log, uh, to evaluate these logarithms. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can inbox me on WhatsApp. Then we're going to discuss and then see how we're going to help each other. Then, like I said, I'll be offering extra lessons and make sure that uh, you um, inbox me if you need um, lessons for next semester. So that the time you'll be opening next semester, at least, you should have finished the syllabus. When you go for classes, you just be revising with the lecture. Yeah, so there will be nothing that is going to be new. I'll make sure that at least we cover three quarters or we finish the whole syllabus during the holiday before you open for semester two. All right, so let's quickly move on to the next question. All right, so the next question is uh, question three. And question three is negative one over three, then log eight. So how do you sim simplify this or how do you evaluate this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, okay, so the simplest way to solve this question is we have negative uh, 1 over 3. Oh, sorry. So this is question 3. 1 over 3 log 8. So the easiest way is to change. Um, Okay, so this part here can be written in terms of what? In terms of um, twos. Yeah, so if you want, you can uh, write this in terms of uh, twos, this eight in terms of twos, and that is going to be um, negative one over three log two to the power three. So that when this three drops down this side, you're going to have negative three over three log so this over that will give you what negative one so I just want to see where this will take us so we have negative log two so in this negative one um, in front here goes up you are going to have uh, log two to the power negative one yeah so when you have log two to the power negative one base ten Okay. All right. I think this can't be simplified further. You can just say log one over two. 
because it's already in base 10 so we can't simplify this further yeah because this is not even a special logarithm so we can leave it like this all right so like i said if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'll be posting and if you are, if, if in case you want to uh to to be doing uh tuitions with me or uh, extra lessons with me in physics or mathematics feel free to contact me and we'll discuss from whatsapp or a direct call and then we'll see how best we can help each other my name is hampton see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom